First thing on Monday morning, and the Argentine cabinet chief, Jorge Capitanich, having to answer questions on two major crises. Firstly, the deadline for Argentina to meet the terms of a U.S. court ruling to pay all of its foreign creditors or face a possible default. Will Argentina pay or won't it? We have shown a willingness to pay and provide the necessary funds, but some have interpreted this to mean we are heading for a technical default when all Argentina wants to do is meet its obligations. That's that question answered. But what about the vice president, Amado Boudou? A judge at the weekend ruled that he should stand trial on charges of conducting business incompatible with public office and bribery. Mr. Boudou was the economy minister at the time. I am the cabinet chief, not a lawyer and not qualified to talk about the legal process or the work of the judge. So we'll have to wait on that one. But what do the Argentine people think? I believe that if you have debt, you should find a way of paying it. We should pay all of it, definitely. Argentina continues to call the hedge funds, which refuse to restructure their debt, vultures. But the country needs to rebuild its reputation to gain access to foreign markets after defaulting 13 years ago. Argentina has to pay. Argentina has to pay to confront its international financial problems. Meanwhile, its discourse for domestic consumption may distance itself from the normalization process. Argentina will spend the following days in intense negotiations with its creditors and the U.S. judge who issued the ruling. The Organization of American States has meanwhile called an emergency meeting on Thursday to discuss Argentina's debt crisis, while Mr. Boudou is returning from an official trip to Cuba to face the music. Politics is so often about timing, and Argentina has been hit by two crises at the same time. Elections are over a year away, and the government will be largely judged on how it deals with these two issues. Daniel Schweimer, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.